what is going on and welcome to another Reddit video. That's right, I am in my house. Out of pure laziness because I didn't want to go into London. So, we're looking at the Reddit. I feel like there might actually be a lot of stuff today because I've been married. I've, well, you saw my last video. I finally have enough of a football pitch to be able to record videos at my house. Are you alright? Welcome to the gym. Congrats, Simon and Talia. Aww. This is a really nice photo, you know. Although, oh, I'm still angry about the amount of people that are jarred out by the shoes. I like the shoes. It's a distinct look. I'll tell you what, it's brave. Look, what do you, what do you mean it's brave? No one's ever described anything good as uh, brave. Uh, no, I have I have never seen it. I'm, I'm on the fence. You've never seen a suit and trainers? Not really, no. Wow. Judging by Freezy's story, the wedding was in Italy, which is so cute considering that's where Talia's family is from. It was in Greece. Freya's Instagram posts were in Corfu. Yeah, no, she, uh, Freya went to two weddings in like four days. But yeah, wedding was amazing. I've already spoken about it like a million times, so go on, move on. <laughs> I've done a podcast. I've mentioned it in a main channel video. I've done Insta posts. You know, everyone's sick and tired of it already. Love that. Not me. I'm not sick and tired of it, Talia. KSI talks about his horrible experience at Mini Mentors' wedding. Oh, great. Also, you put Mini Mentors. Why? Oh, Let us all know. We should talk about that. Yeah, you can start. You start. Right, so, there's me thinking the side men sorting out a villa. Which is what I thought as well. It's going to be high end. I'm thinking 100k plus a night. The issue is with JJ Wright is he only judges things by the price. Like he will literally go, all right, how much is this villa? How much is this villa? That one's more expensive, that one. And I know that is how normally things work, but he doesn't even look at them. We were all in a chat. They got linked to villas and he literally said, don't really care. And then complained. Also, a lot of people have speculated this. Randy said about me getting the hotels for everyone. I was nothing to do with theirs. They went separate. I ain't paying for their villa because I knew they would probably spend 100 grand as he thought. So yeah, their, their stuff was just them. It, yeah, it was nothing to do with me. Oh, that makes him look a lot worse if people think that he's being ungrateful to you. Exactly. Which is why, yeah. So people think that JJ is being really annoying towards me by saying like, oh, Simon sorted out our flights and hotel and blah, blah, blah. Line. It was shit. I was nothing to do with that. So he's not being mean to me. Although he did say, yeah, man, the wedding saved the trip. <laughs> I was like, the wedding was the trip. You only went there for the wedding. <laughs> that was his first wedding, right? It was. A lot of people's first wedding. Him, Chip, uh, Deji, kind of makes sense, their family. Not Chip. Calux, Calfreezy, and a lot more. There was a lot. I've oh, seen the teams that we've been doing. I'm there thinking, <laughs> yo, we're the big bollocks. We're going to be living good. we got a chef. We're going to have a butler. We're going to have all these things ready, waiting. Why would they have a butler? I arrive. Vic tells me, oh, yeah, it's 5K for the whole time. Okay, the other thing about this trip, it was in rural Italy. JJ likes modern. You don't get a modern house in that part of Italy. Their villa was actually really nice. Just old. So, I mean, you've probably seen enough of this. A humble LMSO. What does that mean? What's an LMSO? I actually don't know. Who, who is it? It's me. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's me. Hi again. Caught buddy flying economy. Someone get a major handle upload. Fuck oh, sake shit. I need to know what LMSO is. Lanky millionaire sex offender. Ah, oh, there we go. Well, can we not have an abbreviation? You can't just say LMSO as if it's a common thing. Yeah, well, I think once it's abbreviated, mate, I think you're stuck with it, really. Someone's on the bad team, lol. No, it was... I went to Scotland to play in Theo's Scotland v England football match, which should be out in the next week or two. And let me tell you this, there's a lot of drama in it. I almost got in a fight. And when I say that, I genuinely mean someone has squared up to me and started shouting, calling me a C word. And he was like a 40 year old football looking man. Ayo, hey, Simon is becoming a dad, congrats. What? It's a COVID test. I reckon uh, over a hundred people got got with it. Oh, hundred percent. 1.3K upvotes. I knew it. That's why Simon was looking a little fat in recent videos. What the fuck? Wow. I've never felt more self-conscious than I do right. Wow. I'll have to start sitting up straight. It's alright, mate. It's wedding weight. So you are calling me fat. Is, <laughs> What's is, going on? It's just normal. Is Harry under house arrest? I've seen this. He has look at his look at his ankle. That is weird. What did he say? He said something about it. That's actually funny. Someone, uh, one of the crew on the day who worked there asked me if, if he was on a, uh, on tag. Someone said something in the chat thinking he looks like he's in house arrest. I think he said it was just his he was either wearing odd socks and he rolled it up, or it's his Fitbit or something. And he wears it around his leg. It's Harry. Bro, he's 
weird. Seeing all these mini mile wedding posts is such a mood booster. Ah, yeah, we got some good photos. The um, we should get the rest of them in the next month, and I think we get something like two thousand of them or something like that. Like it'll be a lot of photos. So don't worry, I'm gonna spam them. I need those likes. Thoughts, Simon? JJ ain't punching. He's elbowing. Classic. All right, what does he say? We are all punching, let's be honest. You're punching, I'm definitely punching. Oh, we're saying purely on looks? Looks, yes. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. yeah Simon's definitely, oh my God. <laughs> that, was, that was unnecessary. That was not... Right then, has he called me ugly or is he, is he hitting on Talia? Oh, he's, he's done one of them, maybe both. Are you punching though? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> but out of the side men, right? I wouldn't look at me and go, yo, I am punching. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, fair, fair. Because we're all clapped. And this this, this is very unnecessary, KSI. <laughs> also, I'm a deep something. Can we clear up? Vic says. You're punching. I'm definitely punching. Are we saying purely on looks? Are look? we saying purely looks, on yes. looks? Yeah, fair enough. Then he says, yeah, fair enough. So does he think that he's not punching? on personality. Because then he's insulting his girlfriend, fiance. I mean, maybe that's to do with the fact that you're all balling, that could help. Um, from a female POV, I don't think Vic is. Simon is only just. I don't know about JJ and Josh and Freya are on par, I'd say. What? Don't nice Vic and Josh like this. Unless you're saying that Tali is just the hottest, in which case, okay. Only one who isn't punching in the sidemen is Josh. The thing is, I don't know what to take of the. Are you calling Freya not as attractive or are you saying that Josh is just buff? Yeah, this will get us very deep very quickly. There we go, that's, that's a fair comment. The glow ups. To be fair, looking at all of them now, the glow ups are insane. So I wouldn't say any of them are punching. I know they say they are just going by looks, but humor is a major selling point. Yeah, but they're just going on looks. That doesn't make any sense. There we go. I don't think Simon is punching, but if he were, to be, it would be based on Talia being insanely pretty rather than him lacking anything. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. I'm laying. How I want YouTube All Stars to line up this year. I'm gonna be honest with you, and I'm being entirely truthful. We haven't sorted the teams yet. We haven't sorted 80% of the players. Obviously, we've announced Speed, we've announced Mr. Beast. The rest, up for debate. Who do you want? Right. Mark Goldbridge to return as manager. Okay, Ben Foster, I can tell you this right now. Ben Foster ain't playing in goal. The game is dead if he plays in goal because he's so good. We need bad goalkeepers. Look at Soccer Aid first half. They had good goalkeepers. One of them was Ben Foster. Terrible game. Second half, way more entertaining. Left back Theo Baker. Don't know why he's playing left back. Harry Panero, centre back. Okay. Gideon, centre back as well. Will any right back? So only Gideon added. Philly, Chunks, Noah Beck. All right, well, you're not... There's, there's barely any change here. Nico Milana, he played as well. Danny Ahrens, he played as well. And Speed up front. All right, so you basically don't want to change the team, just add Gideon. Okay. We want to mix it up. Who's the dream get? Who is the dream get? Uh, are you talking like realistic? Or are you talking like, oh, we can have anyone in the world? Yeah, just put it out there. Anyone in the world, I would say we would get. Well, nah, that's the thing. We're keeping it to YouTube. So I would still say anyone in the world, I'd still choose. I'd choose Kai, Kai Sinat. Don't get me wrong. Speed, Mr. Beast, everyone that we invite. But they've played. I'd still want them back, but Kai would be the sickest addition. Caught with no Prime. Look, I love Prime. I've promoted Prime more than KSI himself, but I love a Red Bull. And if one of them wants to pay me, if Red Bull want to pay me, Prime want to pay me, I'll stop drinking the other one. You know that my soul is for sale all day, every day. But yeah, Red Bull, they actually really nice to us as well with the, the wedding. They provided Red Bulls, they provided a DJ, everything. it was sick. So of course, of course. Uh, Red Bull is my heritage. Do you reckon you have the first wedding sponsored by Red Bull? It wasn't sponsored, just to clear up, but... If Mushu and Boo got a show... <laughs> it looks like Ren and Stimpy. You ever watch that? Yeah, yeah, that is actually quite a good contrast. It is. I reckon if Mushu and Boo met, I reckon Boo would be an absolute dickhead to Mushu. Yeah, I can imagine, yeah. I thought Mushu was sitting outside. It looks like Mushu would be like the dumb, strong one, and Boo would be the... The like, manipulator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. the smart, weak yeah, one. Yeah, that goes like, oh, Mushu, yeah, 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 go yeah. get this. Or Boo would like sit on him and like pull his to control him. What happened to the no phone rule? A lot of people said this. We were gonna originally take people's phones away from them and give them back at the end of the night, but trying to explain that to like the boomers, they were like, why, why are you taking my phone? Why are you taking it? So we ended up just saying like, please just everyone, please don't use your phone unless you know you really want, like you really need to, etc. So there was a lot of cases where, you know, Josh and Freya took a photo. That 
completely calm. They went over and took a photo. That's a memory for them. There was a couple like G film Talia doing this. At this point, by the way, everyone is drunk. And I mean, this is this is calm. Like this is five seconds of a video where Talia's got the mic. It's it is what it is. Although it's actually a long time. It's like a minute long. Damn G. That was sick though. It was Sagala set. Main channel idea, surprising JME with a custom PC and a good recording camera. He likes what he has. Okay. If I gave him a sick PC and a good camera, he won't use it. His stream is him. Have you ever seen his streams? You've never seen Jamie's stream? I haven't. I feel like I love them. He just plays Street Fighter a lot, but it's more how his stream looks. So obviously you'd expect, you know, camera top right, gameplay in the middle, right? That's mm -hmm. what you'd expect. Yeah. Not Jamie. Yeah. Reach, yeah. Uh, is it? it yeah. Is it it's mirrored and upside down? He's got one mirrored upside down and then right. It's and it's, and it's always like that. It's always like that. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Even when he goes full screen, he'll sometimes be that. Oh, mate, I love it. Uh, he's, mate, he's one of a kind. R.I.P. K.S. Simon. Yeah. Ah, well. I mean, the jokes will still be there. Danny Aarons loves you, Simon. Oh, here we go. What's this little bitch saying now? <laughs> Simon from the Sidemen genuinely hates you. In the Sidemen, me and Simon are the closest, if that makes sense. <laughs> like, I mean, he didn't invite me to his wedding. People, I think, outside England or like the UK, they don't get banter like we do. No offense. Like, no, I genuinely hate him. That's not banter. I hate him. When you start like insulting your mates, that's when you're at. That's when you know you're actually mates. This you is what I mean? this is what someone says when they they can't accept that someone hates them. This is this is it. Like the Sidemen charity match, he was the one. That you know, texting me, asking Mini me Wiener. to play, well, and just like, <laughs> even like little dick. stuff like you know, inviting me onto his podcast. Nah, I'll be honest. I love Danny Aaron's, and I think if I was to get married in like a year, I probably would have invited him to my wedding. But I've only become good friends with him like more recently, so it's it's a bit like you know, by the time the wedding invites originally went out, I wasn't as close. And it's got yeah, I love him. He's a nice guy. He's the future of YouTube in the UK. Guess the YouTuber challenge as women, Mr. Beast? No, that's. Mr. Beast. Yeah, I think so. Yeah? Yeah. Nailed it. That is, that's Zerka. Yep. I'm telling you, I actually knew that photo. That's Calux. I know that photo. He, he still clapped. Harry. There's, there's so, some of them are like super obvious. Nico? Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Me. I knew that just from the chair. <laughs> Ethan. Fuck you, you know. <laughs> this is when he was in his, uh, his fuckboy face. Look at that. Oh, that is fuckboy. Yeah. That is massively fuckboy. Uh, Joe Sugg. I could tell that just from the, the eyes and the cheekbones. He looks like, um, what's the, the woman who does Love Island? Dating uh, Ian Sterling. Love Island's not my vibe, mate. Okay. Randy. <laughs> Oh my god, I didn't need to, I did not need to see that. <laughs> and Vic Star. Damn, hey, Vic kind of fire though, you know. Vic kind of fire. I've got a good idea for the charity match and I feel like this would be brilliant. I'm listening. So, first of all, you have the normal game, that's totally fine. Obviously, you play the 90 minutes, the winner gets the giant trophy, have the trophy lift. But, after the game is done, they should do a penalty shootout where every player on each team takes one penalty. It's, it's not five penalties and you win. It's every player takes a penalty, even down to both keepers. And then, when all penalties are done, one penalty each, the winner of that get a second trophy, a smaller trophy, as the champions of the penalty shootout. I know I've seen teams like Liverpool and Arsenal do some pre-season with a player game. I like it. So when I went and played at this, uh, this Scotland v England match, they've done it before. They did it last year and they did it after the match where every single player took a penalty. It was just an extra bit of fun. I think it's a decent idea because it does mean that everyone gets a chance to score. It all depends though because if the game was like last year's game where it's so tense until the last second to then go, right, now we're going to do a penalty shootout. It kind of like lowers it a lot like it takes all that tension and like that amazing feeling and goes all right fuck it it's done so maybe so beforehand would that warm it up a bit or i don't know you know what i'll pitch the idea and we'll see what the others say but i do agree with the whole like you know ethan and harry haven't really had a chance to score i think what we should do this year is you know maybe we could start our normal formation me vic toby up top ethan harry there every time someone scores they've got a swap with someone at the back so if i'm starting striker and i score i swap with harry and then if vic scores or toby scores 
yours, he swaps with Ethan. You know what I mean? Something like that. So everyone gets a chance. Congratulations for the wedding and I hope you both have a happy and healthy life. Secondly, my seven year old girl loves your logo and in her free time she painted it on a piece of wood. Hope you like it. Side note, we don't have precious drawing material. Let's see this. Oh, that's sick. That's very sick. That is very sick. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I can't lie. I feel like Deji was nice throughout the whole video so much and Randy was so overlooked and Theo is Theo. Um, I saw a lot of people saying this. Like when we were talking about the best YouTuber, Deji was quite high and some people were like, nah, Deji's, Deji should be lower, blah, blah, blah. But I feel like the people that think that haven't seen Deji from the beginning, they're looking at him from, you know, the last year or two where he doesn't really make videos. And I mean, everything there is an opinion based thing. So it doesn't really matter. Every masterpiece has a cheap copy. Wait, so which one was the cheap copy? Is Ronaldo the cheap copy? Wow. That's the cheap copy, right? That's what they're saying. I, the order's all right. Oh, yeah. Okay. The, I, no, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Right. Right. I don't know what that was. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I've just witnessed. I've got a theory. Maybe because things are so imperfect in nature and in the world, when things are perfect and uniform and neat, that's, that's what we aspire to. Deep. Man, shut the f up, <laughs> I feel like that happens a lot in our reacts videos. Vic goes a lot more deeper, whereas JJ just wants to chat shit. You get a very different reacts video depending on who's in it. We need to get this to 100 million. Well, it's there. We hit 100 million views on this video, which is actually mental. 100 v million views on that video. I don't know how it's still getting views. Who hasn't seen this video that wants to still see it? I wish there was a way to see how many of them are rewatch views. Yeah, but there isn't. <laughs> <laughs> Teddy Woolwork is known for Ted Lasso. What? 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 I'm very confused. Was he in the music video? He's Randy's fake kid. <gasps> he is! Yes! He what? is! I remember it now. Oh my god. I haven't seen Ted Lasso though. I haven't seen Ted Lasso. Apparently it's very good. I've, I've heard that. But no, yeah, he was. That's mad. Bruh. I'd argue that the Helium song is the biggest thing he's ever done. Potentially. How many views has the Helium song got? The Helium song. 5.4 million. <laughs> but JJ's, JJ's reaction to it has 6 million. <laughs> no way. Yeah, he mocked me when he reacted to it saying it's going to get more. To be fair, I always do that to him and then his takes off in after ages. But it's also got 7 million view, uh, listens on Spotify. Big time. That has nothing to do with him. I just wanted to flex. <laughs> I thought they were cool. People complaining about Sam wearing trainers to his own wedding. I mean, if you actually know me, you know I am not wearing smart shoes. Firstly, not wearing smart shoes to the, to the wedding. Secondly, I'm going to be comfy. It's my wedding. I don't give a shit. Like, I want to do what I want to do. I'm wearing trainers. Natalia liked them. Where would you wear smart shoes? To a funeral. Okay, fair. Uh, to someone else's wedding because they're boring and they would make me wear them. Ah, oh, yes, me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you could have worn trainers, I wouldn't have minded. You wouldn't have minded, but it would have been weird. Yeah, you would have been the only one. Yeah. <laughs> to me, it's more just that the wedding is like, it's your thing. It's not to appease everyone else, you know? But a lot of people make weddings more to hit certain quotas that they have to hit to make other people agree with your wedding. Like, for example, I told people, we're not doing a first dance. And a lot of people were like, what? No, you're not doing a first dance. And I said, I'm not doing speeches. They're like, what? This isn't a wedding. What? That's blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, it ultimately, it's my wedding. We do what we want to do. A wedding is just the act of actually getting married. Everything else is just what you've been told you have to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I agree. Well, then why'd you wear, make me wear smart shoes? Mate, if you would, you know if you would have asked, I wouldn't have given a shit. Happy birthday to the man himself, KSI. He's the same age as Simon. Both pushing 40. Brilliant. Yeah, happy birthday to JJ. Happy birthday to Ethan as well. Although JJ turned 30, so his birthday is more important this year. Yeah, we're all growing up. It's weird. I put in the chat that I was taking the dog for a walk and then Ethan was like, yeah, I'm, I'm looking after Olive. And I was like, wow, we are old. We're talking about dog walks and kids. We're old. It's sad. But that's it for today. What was the best post? I don't know what the best post was. All right, so as much as I liked this Reddit, I don't think any of the posts got me like normal. So I gave away 2K last month. Well, a K to two people. I'm gonna do that again next month. So this is your chance. Get your Reddit posts in now. Upvote other people's. Two people will be winning $1,000 next month. So that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you soon for more main channel videos. I'm telling you, I'm coming back.